How many Canaries Islands can you name? La Palma, La Gomera. Very good if you can get that one. Tenerife, Gran Canaria. El Hierro, Lanzarote, Fuerteventura. Is that it? Well, no, there's some other islands in the chain of islands that make up the Canaries. One of them is behind me, and that's where we're going on today's video. Lobos Island. First, the geography. Where is Lobos Island? It's just off the coast of Fuerteventura near Coraleco, and south of Playa Blanca, Lanzarote. My trip to the island started early in the morning in Coraleco Harbour, boarding this boat. I can't get up alone Too heavy on my own I'd rather be up top and outside, but here's a quick look inside. I'm still standing here Searching for steady ground place to down. It was pretty quick and painless to get on the boat. The price of this I will put on at the end of the video and I'll also tell you while we're out on the island one little thing you will need to do if you want to come on this trip that may not be uh, immediately obvious. Don't tempt me. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. The ferry to Lobos takes around 15 to 20 minutes, but it's a great part of the trip. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now it doesn't even matter, it's too late not to let it go. This is one of the ferries that go to Lanzarote. If you'd like to see a video about all four in which I tell you which is my favorite, a link to a video is on the screen now. Come to the Canaries for some winter sun, they said. I'm cold. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. The boat has now returned back to Fuerteventura and you're probably thinking, Michael, why didn't you film yourself getting off? I wanted to see what it's like to get off. I was going to, and then about two or three minutes before I got off, a woman probably in her 60s got off and she slightly overbalanced and started coming back towards the boat and the crew did really well to stop her from falling between the boat and the wall into the water. But I thought, do you know what? It would just be my day if I decided to film for you topple back in the water, break the camera, and who knows what I'd do to myself. Anyway, let's go and have a look around the island and see what it's like. Yes, you have to say it's a bit of an eyesore in the middle of the landscape, that hotel, isn't it? It's horrible. Terrible is what it is. The time I took to film and have a look around meant the crowd on the boat I arrived with had moved on, and I had a bit of space to enjoy the island. The visitor's centre is certainly worth five minutes of your time at the start or end of your trip to the island. Won't stop for traffic lights. I've decided to walk all the way to the top of the island first because the boat leaves at three and I want to be able to judge how far things are. So I've started the stopwatch when we left back from the uh, place where the boat came in and let's see how long this walk actually takes. I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down 
just behind me, turning to go up to the top of the hill there. Um, I'm not going to do it today, I've got a bit of a sore ankle, I don't think it would do much good going up there. So we're going to carry on up to the north of the island, we're about halfway. Okay, man up, Muso. Just poking up between those two rises ahead of us, Lanzarote. In terms of what it's like walking around here, well, the paths are very good, very firm. Obviously, lots of sand around when you're up here. Um, and it is windy, but it's very good. The only thing they don't want you to do is stray from the path because of the biodiversity in this area. That will mean everything, yeah, everything to me. Can we get out of this one? Not far to go now. The end is in sight. So how long has the walk from one end of the island to the other taken me? 54 minutes. If I really pushed, I could have done it probably 10 minutes quicker, but it was a lovely amble for this amazing view. You also get this view of Lanzarote. I'm really enjoying my time here on Lobos. We're now going to go over to the east of the island to a beach just to chill for an hour or two and uh, as I prepare to make my walk across there I would appreciate it if this video is of help or entertaining you uh, that you would hit the like button it uh, I'm told helps me grow the channel and that would be just great. Now you want me to help you out? I expect a lot in return. I said at the start of the video there was a little bit of information I needed to give you about coming to the island. Well here goes you need to apply for a permit. You can sort it yourself or pay the ferry company to do that for you. Then you walked past me and you saw me and smiled. I will never forget the first time when I saw you, I thought I lost my mind. As you take in the views, I'd appreciate your support growing this channel. So to help fellow travellers, hit the subscribe button. I'll be posting new videos every week. I hope you always be around. When you book your tickets online, they say wear walking shoes. I think that uh, might sound a bit boring, but really good advice because it's uh, a little uneven at times, the path, and I certainly wouldn't want flip-flops out on here. This way forever Loving you has never felt more right This seems like a good spot for a spot of lunch. I think it's time for some food. For once, I actually came well prepared. I bought my own food. They say you should. I haven't really seen any sign of anywhere to get anything. So if you are going to come to the island, probably bring your own pack up with you. The answer, how cold? <laughs> Very cold, but it's worth it. Just ahead is the restaurant you've probably heard about on the island. As you can see, there is a small restaurant that apparently sometimes isn't open, sometimes is. But I did my own thing. I'm going to head back now to get the boat 
and I'll tell you exactly how much this cost me. So here is the cost. If you'd like to see more videos from my time in Fuerteventura, a link to a playlist is on the screen now. Thank you.